Plumbing lines are 2D representations of piping objects. These items are controlled by line styles and system definitions. To do this, you need to make sure you've started your drawing from a template. If you've used the Project Navigator, you probably already have. Make sure your interface is set to the Plumbing workspace to see the right tools. From the Manage tab, select the Style Manager. You can also click the Plumbing Line Style shortcut under Style Manager. There are already several styles that are defined in this drawing. Pick the Copper Tube Type K style. The right tab will show you several tabs. Standard Sizes list the sizes that are available to select from the Properties palette. You can add or remove sizes based on material specifications. Annotation controls the behavior of crossings. Display Properties set the layer, color, and line type behavior for line styles. Since these are set to layer 0 by default, the line style will use what the layer key is set to on the system definition. Select OK to exit this dialog. To see the system definition, select the style manager again, and then click Plumbing System Definitions. Select the domestic cold water definition. Default sets the fittings for the elbows. There are options for mitered, radiused, and chamfered. Click the one you want to use. You can also set the default fittings for tees, crosses, and transitions. The import icon also lets you import other symbols, but you will most likely use the defaults since they represent industry standards. Browse through these to see what comes with the program. Design rules set the abbreviation and system group. The system group prevents items from dissimilar systems from being connected together. System types set the overall object type that applies to the system definition. For example, cold water is applied to this system type, so this system type won't appear when adding a hot water plumbing line. Design rules also include one of the more important settings, the layer. Autodesk uses an alias known as a layer key, which is linked to a database. While this lesson does not go into detail about editing system definitions, know that this alias will help you comply with the National CAD standard. As you add plumbing lines, the layer will be created if it doesn't exist, or it will be used if it does. When the layer is created, the color, line type, line weight, and other layer features are pulled from the layer key style and used to make the layer. You can change the key at any time, but changing the system will only affect new lines, not lines that have already been created. Just like line styles, display properties at the system definition level let you control the specific layers for line work connectors and more. While this lesson does not cover editing these values, understand that by selecting the system definition when creating the plumbing line, you're saving all of this information to the pipe as well as using it to help create consistent construction documents. Select OK to exit the dialog. Next, check the options. Before you create any plumbing lines, you need to check the following items. Type in OP on the command line and press Enter. Scroll to the MEP tabs. Remember the system group? On the MEP Layout Rule tab, there's a Connection Test Mismatch setting. By default, AutoCAD MEP will ask before it lets you connect systems that belong from two different groups. Leave this set to prompt for user input. Select the MEP Catalogs tab. The Style-Based Content Pass includes a setting for the location of system definition drawings, which allows you to look for additional plumbing system definitions that may not be loaded into your drawing. Select OK to close the Options dialog. Now that you've reviewed these primary items, you're ready to start adding plumbing lines to your model.